Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a little box here that I'm going to show you guys, a box opening. Um, it is by the Potter Collector. It is the Keep Collecting box. If you don't know what the Potter Collector is, it is a YouTuber um, and he is very knowledgeable on Harry Potter and Harry, Bo Harry Potter merchandise as well as um, uh, book Harry Potter book collections as well so go ahead and check out his channel it's I think it's the Potter collector he's very inter interesting to watch and I love watching him anyways so let's get to the box so this is the box mine looks all janky because they decided to put my address sticker right on the front of the box but it comes in just a regular brown box and I'll go ahead and use my scissors here someone is messaging me so I have been gone for a while because I have a little one over there, which I don't know if he's going to let me film or not, but <laughs> I have him over there. I just had a baby in November and it is now the, the beginning of January, so um, I've been a little bit busy. He's almost two months now, almost. I think this Thursday. I'm not sure. I don't even know. I don't even know what day it is. Anyways, so let's go ahead and open this box. I've been wanting to open this box for a while. Well, actually, I just got this. Um, when did it come in? It came in like yesterday. But I signed up for the subscription for a couple of months. As soon as it, you could get one, I went ahead and got one. Or uh, bought one. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We opened the box. Um, you are gifted with a little note in the front here. I'll read that at another at another time. I'll go ahead and open this box for you guys. So what I see automatically is a little letter, a little envelope, right on top here. This is how it came to me. Hmm? So I'm gonna go ahead and open the letter. Oh, that's cute. So it's like um, a little library card. It says, library card, the student must be in possession of this card to borrow library books. And then on the back, it says rest restricted section. And it's got like a little spot for your photo as if um, you had to get like approved to go to the, um, the restricted section of the library. And it has like your name and like a date, a place for the date. So I love stuff like this. Things that you can use to, um, it just brings a world, uh, the Harry Potter world into your world a little bit more. And so that's really fun. I like that. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, we got a hall pass. <laughs> a hall pass for Hogwarts. So uh, if you get caught by Snape in the halls, you have your hall pass. You're ready to go. It says issue two. The date granted, the professor that allowed the hall pass, the reason for the hall pass, or it says gather missing supplies, a restroom break, or other. So that's really cool, and it's like gold detailing. That's going to be a fancy hall pass. <laughs> Remember how the hall passes in like elementary school, or um, or high school? It was like attached to like a wooden spoon or. You know, and that, if you really think about that, that's really gross. Bring it to bring that to the bathroom all the time. A wooden spoon, or it's like a ruler, or something that was like your hall pass. Anyways, I always thought that was really gross. Okay, now this. Oh, this is cool. It's a school schedule. You know how like the first day of um, classes or school, you get your schedule and what classes at what time, what room. That's what this is. That's really neat. I love that idea. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then extra curriculars. And it has like notes down here. Use at least three free periods for studying in the common room. And then it has like breakfast, lunch, dinner, library hours, and quiet hours. That's really cute. I love that. That's a great idea. So I'm going to put all this back in the envelope. Someone is texting me. Let me check that real quick. Check my baby down there. He's doing good. He's 
He's wide awake. <laughs> I was hoping he would sleep during this video, but he chose to be wide awake. Um, let me see. Okay, anyways, so let's move on. So right on top here, like right at the very top, I see pins. And they're flipped face side down to where you can't even see what the pin is until you flip it over. So that's really fun. That's a, I don't know if they do that in other sub subscription boxes, but in this box, he's flipped them upside down. Oh, and here's a pin. This is a pin of Dumbledore in his portrait. Oh, I love that. I want to open it up. Let's take a look. Oh, that is so nice. I think this is considered hard enamel. I don't know. I really don't know the difference between hard enamel and soft enamel, but this is so cool. It's Dumbledore and his little portrait. I don't know if that's focusing for you guys. but And it's a two-class pen. And it's just Dumbledore looking... Looking studious. Okay. And then here's another pen. Whoa, this is a big pen. It says Chivalry. It looks like a pen. I'm not exactly sure. Persevero Collegitis. Collegendus. I'm not really sure. I know. I know. I know, I don't know what it means. I'm sure it means something. We'll we'll look at the cheat sheet. They're a really nice pen. How cute. This is like good stuff. It's like metal. It doesn't look looks like high quality metal. baby might make an appearance in this video. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see what else we got here is a box. We love the boxes. Let's go ahead and see what is in the box. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my baby. Okay, everyone. This is Tyler. <laughs> He's going to do the video with us because he likes to be held at all times. Yeah? See, I like to be held all the time, which is fine. Okay, let's open this box. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it's a potion. Yay, because I really don't have that many potions on my shelves, so this is exciting. It looks like it's blue. Wit. Strengthening Potion. Look at that. It's just got a nice blue liquid inside. It's topped with what looks like wax. And it also has the eagle on the front here. That kind of makes sense with Ravenclaw being the eagle and Wit Strengthening Potion for the strong-minded. So very pretty and I, I would love to have that on my shelf. What does it say here? Ingredients is ginger root, Armadillo bile and something beetles. Scarab beetles, that's what I'm reading. Correct me if I'm wrong. Potion use. Um, some provides clarity to thoughts. I might need some of this right now. Provides clarity to thoughts. I need that. Right? Yeah, say mommy needs that. So I love that. That's so cute. I, I really don't have that many potions on my shelf. I have like these two right behind me, which is the love potion and then the um, liquid love potion. <laughs> and that's about it. So let's see what else we have in here. Oh, I see. What is this? They're like Quidditch mittens. Dragon hide gloves. How cute. This would be fun for... Um, like cosplay. You can dress up as like a, I don't know, like a Quidditch player and wear gloves. Oh, and they're really soft inside. So that's fun. What do you think? Can you wear those? They might be a little bit big for your hands. I think you still need your small mittens. 
yeah, I'll put those right here. I don't know what I would personally use use the gloves for, um, other than like display purposes or for like the shelves or something. If I had like a Quidditch area, that's where I would probably put those. And they're quite big. They're like really big gloves. Like my hand compared to this glove is like huge. <laughs> So I don't know if I would personally use those. Okay, we see another box. Where are you going? It's in styrofoam, so maybe that means it's breakable. From lid off. <gasps> wow! I what is this? Is it a piggy bank? Oh, it's a piggy bank. That's cute. It's um so it's the Slytherin uh, vault for the Chamber of Secrets, and it's a little piggy bank. You see the slit in the top, and um oh no, one of my little snakes' heads came off. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a missing head from the snake. Oh, excuse you. Right there. So I don't know if it's, I don't know why it would supposed to be like that, but it's missing a head. <laughs> um, there's the plug at the bottom for taking out the change. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that to the side. I'm not sure about the head of the snake. Um, let me check the camera real quick, make sure it's still running. Nothing like doing a video and your camera's not even turned on. Okay, let's see here. Okay, looks like we got a wand or a pen. Oh, it's a sword of Gryffindor. Let's open it. Everything is wrapped really nicely in bubble wrap and boxes and styrofoam. So it really protects your items. Oh, is it a pin? I don't know. So here it is. It's the Sword of Gryffindor. It looks like it's supposed to be like a writing pen, but mine's not doing its thing. Hold on. Definitely looks like it's a pin. Am I missing something? It opens like a pin. It is a pin. It's a pin. Why is the, the tip of the pin not coming out? Okay, I don't know. I mean, that's really cool, but I can't write with it because there's no tip of the pin coming out. So. And there's no way to like make it come out. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll have to figure that out later. But it's really cool. It's a sort of Gryffindor. And I love the idea of it being a pin. And honestly, I was just thinking the other day. I want like a designated pin for like writing my um, writing on my calendar or my notes and stuff. I want like a pin because I have a million pins. They're all ugly. You know, they're not cute. And um, I just want one pin just to keep up with. I think that would be better. Um, so if I could get this to work, that would be ideal. But um, I have, so far, it doesn't look like it's going to come out. So I'll have to mess with it and see what's going on. I don't know. Okay, here's another little uh, box in here. It looks like a wizard trunk. A little wizard trunk. Just opens from the top here. Oh, it's little um, beaters in the the, um, the Quidditch trunk, Quidditch ball trunk. I don't know what you would call that. Just like paperweights or something? Because they're kind of heavy. Oh, they're like replicas. It's pretty heavy. I think they're the beaters. And there's two of them in here. So they're like bronze. 
and they're a little bit weighted so that's fun I think that would just be more for display purposes is how I would use those I know I know we got more stuff we have more stuff to get through we do we have more stuff Okay, so there's a little green drawstring bag in here. Green is my favorite color. Um, no, I'm not a Slytherin, I'm a Gryffindor. Um, and yes, I'm wearing a Slytherin crew neck, uh, but these were going out of stock and I love my Gryffindor crew neck that I have of one of these. And so I went online to buy one, they're out. The only one they had left was Slytherin, and which is fine, I love green. Green's my favorite color. So I was like, I would love to get a Slytherin one, and they did not have it in my size, which is a medium. They had it in a large, so I got a large, which works, it's fine. Um, but yeah, they don't have these anymore. They're like out, and they're not going to make them again, I don't think, is what I've heard. So I'm happy I got my hands on one other one. So I wish I could get them in all the houses, because I really like these crew necks, and I wore that Gryffindor one to death. I still wear it, but it's a little shabby, and I wish I could have gotten another another one. Okay, so I'm opening up the drawstring bag here. Oh, it's a little Hogwarts award. It says, award for special services to the school. What's wrong? And it's like a little plaque. It looks really nice. Again, I don't, besides putting it on my shelf for like display reasons, I'm not really sure what else I would use that for, but that's really cool. If I had like a Hogwarts school section, I would, that's what I would put in there. So it's like a little plaque. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it on anything, but that's how I would use it is just like sitting up on the shelf or something. I actually really like the drawstring bag. Okay, looks like like one more thing in here. Not entirely sure what this is. Oh, it looks like um stationery, which I love stationery, and I know. Peter, um, the guy who's made this box from the um, the Potter Collector for Keep Collecting, he loves stationery, so I was I'm happy to see some stationery in here as well. Looks like just so far all I see are envelopes, so some envelopes, and then oh, and these fold up, so you can write like a note right here. And then these wings fold in and then they slip into the envelope. How cute is that? I love that and I would love to send these to people. Oh, it looks like you have all the houses. So we got Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw all in here. So like say you had a Slytherin friend or a Hufflepuff friend, you could write them a little note and send this to them. That's really fun. Too bad I don't know too many Harry Potter people, like Harry Potter fans. I don't know, but maybe one or two. And even then they're like, they aren't the biggest fans. <laughs> Hence why I'm kind of doing these videos. I want to like communicate with other Harry Potter fans. That would be really nice to find other people. Who are into it as much as me because absolutely no one in my family is into it at all my daughter is slowly getting into it but she's only four <laughs> she has some time right and then my son you know we'll, we'll get you we'll get you started on some Harry Potter huh? but I wouldn't really have anybody to send these to I would probably still send them to somebody though how cute. I love that. That's probably one of my favorite ones. Okay, I think that's it except for the cheat sheet, which is in the bottom here. So.
So keep the keep collecting box. Every item in this box represents a house and a specific character trait for which the house is known. Oh, okay. So the lion is the sword pin, which did not work. It would not. It's not opening up for me. And I think I saw somewhere that there's a complication with one of the things. So maybe that's what they're talking about. Metal a chivalry pin. Oh, that's the. The Hogwarts Chivalry, so, or not Hogwarts, the Gryffindor Chivalry, that's cool. So it's a house-related item. Okay, I like that. It's a big pin, though. I'm not, I don't know if I'm into big pins. I think that's just like a personal preference thing. I like the small pins. Um, the Lion House founder was marked by integrity and readiness to help others. Middle of Chivalry. Okay, so then we have the Badger, which is for Hufflepuff. The dragon hide gloves is for Hufflepuff for hard work. And then what? Boating balls? Patience. Badgers display patience. Oh, I think they're the ones that you like. Oh, you move around in your hand and it's supposed to help relax you. It's for relaxation, which I could totally use. I don't know if I can fit both of those on my hand of this just sounds not not correct. <laughs> And then we got Ravenclaw, which is the eagle, and that was, where was that? Um, it was, what was, what was, oh, that, okay, so that was the, um, the class schedule and, um, the lessons and oh, all of this stuff over here. Oh, and then your hall pass and all of that. This little envelope at the very beginning. That's what that is. That's Ravenclaw. And it's for like wisdom. Oh, and then the wit strengthening potion, which I already kind of fi figured that out. Was it like for Ravenclaw? And I noticed the eagle on the front there. And he, of course, Peter got it right and put an eagle and not a raven on the charm, which is completely correct. And this is for wit. I would totally be drinking that right now if it was real. Um, and then the service award, of course, for ambition is for Slytherin, hence it being in the green bag. So there you go, ambition. And then resourcefulness is the coin bank, coin bank, which my coin bank, the snake is missing its head, but other than that, very cool. Very, it's a Slytherin related and, um, yeah, resourcefulness. You gotta save up that money, be resourceful. And then greeting cards is for just all the houses. So you got the greeting cards for all the houses and then also the headmaster pin for all the houses, right? He represents all of them, right? He doesn't favor Gryffindor at all. <laughs> okay, so I think that was it. That was the Keep Collecting box. I loved it, it was very cute. Um, I would have to say my favorite items from this box would definitely be the pin. The, uh, okay, so my camera just died at the very end of this thing. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, I think my favorite items is the Dumbledore pin. I love pins, um, and this is well made, and I just love the picture of Dumbledore. So regal. And then um, I, if I had to pick one more, it would definitely be the potion. I don't have many potions. I love the way they look. I love the blue in this. Very pretty. Oh, I didn't even... You know, I do like... The schedule and the hall pass and like the little uh, replica ideas. I, li I like that too, but I think if I have to pick the two highest, it's the pen and the potion. Uh, my least favorite, I would have to say the gloves. I don't know what I would use these for, honestly, besides display. Um, that'd be cool if, and it's like faux leather, you know, of course, but. I don't know, it's kind of warm on the inside. I'm not really sure what I would be using these for. So um, that would be my least favorite if I had to pick. So um, I think little ones get in a little bit fussy here. So we're gonna go get, where'd your glove go? Where'd it, where'd it go? Oh, it's down here. Um, go get him changed, changed up. And um, I definitely love the box. It's his first box. Um, so I'm sure he's learning along the way as to what he's gonna be putting in his boxes, would I buy another one? Probably. I probably would, definitely. Um, yeah, I like it. It was it was really good. Uh, it was well made, well packaged, and very organized, and 
I liked it. All right, and let's go. We got things, we got baby things to do. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Until the next video. <laughs>